so you guys might realize i'm playing on a smooth account in this gameplay usually i don't post any gameplays on my smooth account but my pc crashed a couple of days ago and i lost every single bit of footage and this was one of the only games i could find on my my like external hard drive right now if i do ever play on a smooth account it's one of two reasons one apex is just way too sweaty that day and i don't want to like you know sweat that much which is understandable right and two i want to play with friends who don't play apex that much and if they play with me they'll be forced to play against sweats so that's why you guys are watching this gameplay in the background obviously it was a very good gameplay i got lots of kills and stuff and it still should be very enjoyable for you guys to watch and if you guys have issues with content creators playing on smooth accounts i don't know what to tell you it's not that serious it's just for fun and because of skill based matchmaking apex is in a very sweaty state and not everyone wants to sweat 24 7 so yeah that's why you guys are watching this smooth gameplay i think i'll just leave the gameplay to actually play out towards the end of the video so you guys can see what happened and yeah i'm gonna stop talking now let's get into this video all right so welcome back to some more apex i hope you guys are having a very good day as always and i know i said in yesterday's video how that was going to be my last video taking a look at any leaks any hints any clues about season five well i kind of lied because we just got some more information today and usually i i wouldn't want to like you know go back on my word guys but season five is what five days away so i think it's best i just cover all of this news bring you guys this content and obviously when season five drops the content will change slightly for like the first month so yeah if you guys do enjoy these news videos we have five more days of these kind of videos but the information is just way too juicy and interesting to not make a video about it so yeah today guys we have some very very big news so first up we have some information about even more map changes coming in season five i think we all kind of know that skull town is going to be destroyed and it's going to be removed from the map when season five drops because of the season five launch trailer but a dev on twitter actually give us some more information about what to expect in King's Canyon. We also have some more news about the season 5 weapon in Apex which has not been confirmed by Respawn as yet but based on leaks, based on past trends and just based on the game files I think we can all make an educated guess as to what the season 5 gun is gonna be. So if you guys do happen to enjoy this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let's try to get to 18k subs before season 5 drops. I'd really appreciate that and enough talk guys. Let's get into this video. Alright, so first let's just talk about this brand new weapon coming to Season 5, right? I would say ever since Season 4 dropped, if you looked at the game files, if you watched these videos, then you will know the Volt SMG has been in the game files for a very long time. A full rendered model of the Volt SMG is currently in the game files. And in addition to that guys, there's actually every single epic skin as well in the game files for the Volt SMG. A data miner on Twitter, his name is Sum or Sum, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but he actually posted this little preview of the Volt SMG with an epic skin. And he also confirmed that every single epic skin for the Volt SMG is currently in the files, right? So basically just going off of this information guys, I would just assume that Respawn would not put this much effort into like, you know, putting in every single epic skin and a full rendered model of the Volt SMG to not have it show up in Season 5. I think it's pretty safe to assume at this point that the Volt SMG is most likely going to be the Season 5 weapon. If you guys haven't played Timefall or you just don't know what the Volt SMG is, is basically the Volt SMG in Titanfall was an energy SMG and it wasn't that good it was actually kind of trash but it was still very fun to use right now if we're looking at the Apex meta and how the Volt SMG would fit into the Apex meta every single energy weapon in Apex has always been ridiculously strong right and the Volt SMG as I said is an energy SMG so if Respawn does decide to follow past trends then the Volt SMG being an energy SMG will be extremely strong as well I'm going to show you guys as much images as I can of the Volt SMG but as you can probably see it does look pretty good it looks like if Respawn has put some work into like rendering out the gun and yeah this might be the next weapon in season 5. Now 
Now take everything I just said with a grain of salt, obviously because Respawn has not confirmed or denied anything. They could still very well decide to release a brand new gun that no one has ever heard about, but just going on past experiences and past events, I'm going to take a guess and say the Volts SMG will be next up in Season 5. You guys are obviously free to think differently, but I just, I believe that this gun will be next up, so yeah. Now there's also been some talk about a brand new pistol coming in Season 5 as the new gun. At the end of the season 5 trailer if you look very closely you actually see Loba holding a pistol right and this pistol has a different barrel from anything we've seen so far in Apex. So obviously this led people to assume that this pistol will be next up in season 5 and that Respawn purposely hinted at this being the new gun. Now this could be true and this could be Respawn's way of hinting at the brand new gun coming in season 5, I won't deny that because obviously they haven't confirmed or denied anything but it could also just be a P2020 skin, a RE45 skin, who knows, it could be a skin that we just have seen before and it kind of just changes the barrel of the gun we don't know i'm not gonna talk too much on this and give my opinion just as yet because respawn is known for like bamboozling us and just changing up their ideas of what stuff is gonna be in the game so who knows what they have in store for us but this is also a conversation going on i want to ask you guys real quick what do you think is going to be the season 5 weapon in apex the vote smg or do you want to see something else let me know now we also have some more information about king scanion and the map updates taking place there because a dev kind of confirmed this on Twitter as well. So someone asked is there an explanation as to why the legends returned to King's Canyon and a dev at Respawn responded and said we already returned to King's Canyon in season 4. So one could assume the reconstruction needed to stabilize the land after the fall of the repulsor tower was completed and the arena was cleared for combat again. So in this tweet right here, the dev obviously states that some sort of construction has in fact taken place on King's Canyon. We obviously don't know exactly what that construction is, it could be anything, but we do know that the destruction of Skulltong will not be the only map change taking place in King's Canyon. I'm interested to see what Respawn does and how they decide to actually update King's Canyon and I'm also interested just to see if they actually do anything to World's Edge as well because in some of the recent teasers we actually found on the map they kind of hinted at a possible World's Edge map update as well but at least for now we have confirmation that King's Canyon will see multiple map updates. So what do you guys think about this? Obviously we will not be getting a new map until at least season 6 but I'm still very interested to see how Respawn pulls this off. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. That's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. As always, Season 5, as I said, is 5 days away. I think Respawn has a lot of tricks up their sleeve. I think this season is going to be a very successful, a very fun, and a very different season from anything we've seen so far in Apex. A lot of talk has been going around recently about if Apex will manage to succeed, if Apex will fail, and I believe that season 5 will be the change we need to see to make Apex the best game, the best version that it could be, because Apex I think has so much potential, and the way that season 5 is looking so far, I have very very high hopes. So hopefully season 5 will be great. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in some more Apex. Till next time.